So, hi everyone, my name is Patricia Nicole M. Alada, and for today's report, I will tackle to you about the Quartz family and Feldspar family. So, first, Quartz family. So, what is Quartz? Quartz is a chemical compound consisting of one part silicon and two parts oxygen. It is called silicon dioxide, so it is the most abundant mineral found at Earth's surface and its unique properties make it one of the most useful natural substances. So, quartz, quartz is the most abundant mineral in Earth's surface. So, quartz is actually the most strongest material after the diamond, sapphire, and topaz. So, quartz is important because um, it is used to make oscillators for watches, radios, televisions, computers, and cell phones. So, what are the uses for quartz? So, quartz is one of the most useful natural materials. Its usefulness can be linked to its physical and chemical properties. So, it is chemically inert in contact with most substances. It has electrical properties and heat resistance that make it valuable in electronic products. Its luster and color make it useful as a gemstone and also in the making of glass. So, quartz, uh, marami, siyang, marami siyang color like purple, orange, yellow, and green. So, uh, these are the physical properties of quartz. So, chemical classification. So, for in color, the silicate is common colors are clear, white, gray, yellow, brown, black, pink, green, and red. So, for the streak, colorless, luster, vitreous, and diaphanity, it is transparent to translucent and cleavage none typically breaks with a conchoidal fracture so the chemical classification so the most hardness 7 specific gravity 2.6 to 2.7 and the diagnostic properties it's conchoidal fracture glassy luster hardness then chemical composition which is the silicon dioxide and crystal system it's hexagonal and uses glass making ab abrasive foundry sand hydraulic fracturing propant and gemstones so most hardness or most most hardness scale so it is used as a convenient way to help identify the minerals so, the popular varieties of quartz used as a gem including amethyst, jasper, and rose quartz. So, those are the examples of quartz. So, feldspar family. So, what is feldspar? It is the most common rock forming mineral. The mineral name feldspar is derived from the German words felds and par. So, the feldspar are by far the most abundant group of minerals and are found in igneous, metamorphic, and many sedimentary rocks. So, the feldspar in German, so felds meaning field and par meaning light colored minerals that break into smooth surfaces. So, actually, ang feldspar, um, it is usually found in igneous and metamorphic so feldspar family properties so first they usually crystallize in the monoclinic and or triclinic system then white or very light in color and have a hardness of six on the most scale of hardness and perfect to good cleavage in two directions and main clay minerals used in ceramics and fine pottery. So, feldspar family is a group of crystalline minerals that consists of aluminum silicates with either potassium, sodium, calcium, or barium and that are essential constituent of nearly all crystalline rocks. 
So feldspar play an important role as fluxing agent in ceramics and glass production and it is also used feldspar also used as a function functional fillers in paint rubber and plastic so feldspar family there are two types of feldspar the alkali feldspar includes orthoclase microline sanidine and anorthoclase then second is Plagioclase feldspar includes albite anorthite solid solution series. So the difference between the two, the alkali feldspar color range is from white to brick red and it is typically opaque, while the plagioclase feldspar color range is from white to dark gray and it is typically translucent. So, augite. Augite is a most common rock-forming pyroxene mineral with these formulas. So, the crystals are monoclinic and prismatic. Its chemical structure is highly variable. Augite might be considered by some to be its own group of minerals rather than an individual mineral. So, augite is a mineral interest for geologists and collectors because by the help of augite, it helps to tell the scientists and geologists about the Earth's history in certain regions. So, actually, augite has little to no industrial value. So, horn blend. It is a complex inosilicate series of minerals. It is not a recognized mineral in its own right, but the name is used as a general or field term. So, hornblende, it is a very common mineral found in geologic environments. So, hornblende, um, it is crushed and used for highway constructions. Next is biotite. Biotite is a common group of phyllosilicate minerals within the mica group. So it is primarily a solid solution series between iron end member anite and the magnesium end member phlogopite. So biotite is commonly found in Ontario, Canada. So biotite has a small number of commercial uses so biotite it is used for additive in mods and it is also used in filler for paints so muscovite muscovite is the most common mineral of the mica family it is an important rock forming mineral present in igneous metamorphic and sedimentary rocks Muscovite sheets have a pearly to vitreous luster on their surface. So, muscovite is a pearlescent, which means it can add additional shine to the paints. So, the same with other minerals, ang muscovi muscovite is um, ginagamit din siya as a filler or extender to paint and other manufactured products. So, calcite. Calcite is a carbonate mineral and the most stable polymorph of calcium carbonate. Calcite is a naturally occurring calcium carbonate mineral which is often used to treat acidic water conditions and is completely safe for use with drinking water. It is formed from shells of dead marine organisms. So calcite is the most one of the most ubiquitous minerals and it is important in sedimentary environment. So calcite is it is actually used in construction aggregates and in the production of lime, lime and cement. So, garnet. Garnet, a group of silicate minerals that have been used since the bro Bronze Age as gemstones and abrasives. All species of garnets possess similar physical properties and crystal form, but in, dif 
but differ in chemical composition. Different types of garnet are mined and are mined and located around the world. So, uh, garnet hardness is range from 6.5 to 7.5 on most scale. So, the garnet is the garnet price range from $500 and uh, the mantoid garnet is the most valuable of all garnets. So, that would be all. Thank you.